If you want to use test frameworks other than Microsoft Test, you can install runners for them in the Tools, Extensions and Updates dialog. Simply search for the runner you want to install, for instance XUnit, and click the Install button for the desired option. In the test project, you right-click the References folder and select Manage NuGet Packages and search for the desired framework, for instance XUnit. Then you click the Install button for the desired option. If the Test Explorer window isn't open, then select Test, Windows, Test Explorer in the main menu. Running tests. Let's look at the Test Explorer features. But to give it some substance, we need a few functions to test. Note that in the MyTest04 function, assertions will fail. The test list in the Test Explorer will contain tests for any framework, even if you choose to use different testing frameworks in the same solution. Three folders can be displayed in the Test Explorer. Failed tests, past tests, and not run tests. These folders are updated when you build your solution or run your tests. Below the folders is a run details section showing information about failed and past tests. Click on a test to see the detailed information about that test. It can also contain a link to where a test failed. Simply click the link to go to the code. The stack trace link can also be displayed. Hover over the link to see the stack trace. To the right of every test, you can see how long it took to run that test. The red green bar will be red if any of the tests failed, otherwise, it will be green. Searching for tests. You can search for tests by typing in the search field or by clicking the arrow to the right of the magnifying glass and select the search category. Run options. You can run all tests by clicking the Run All link or refine what tests are to be run by clicking the Run link and selecting one of the options in the context menu. You can add a test to a playlist by right-clicking on the Test Explorer and select Add to Playlist, Playlist Name. If you haven't created a playlist yet or want to create a new playlist, use the Add to Playlist, New Playlist option. Run a single test. To run a single test, you simply right-click on the function name in the code and select Run Tests in the context menu or right-click on the function name in the Test Explorer and select Run Selected Test in the context menu. Let's do this for the functions MyTest01 and MyTest04. Note the three folders, Failed Tests, Pass Tests and Not Run Tests in the Test Explorer. Also note that there are run details below the test list. Run multiple tests. To run multiple tests, you select them in the Test Explorer, right-click on the selection and select Run Selected Tests in the context menu. Run all tests. To run all tests, you simply click the Run All button in the Run Options toolbar in the Test Explorer. Debug tests. You debug tests the same way you debug regular code. Simply place a breakpoint where you want the debugging to start and step through the code with the commands or debug menu options you are familiar with. Debug a single test. If you want to debug a single test, then place the breakpoints where you want them, right click in the test code and select debug tests in the context menu. You can also right click on the test in the test explorer and select Debug Selected Tests in the context menu or select Test Debug Selected Tests in the main menu. Debug multiple tests. If you want to debug multiple tests, you select them in the Test Explorer, right click in the selection and select Debug Selected Tests in the context menu. Or you can select 
test, debug selected tests in the main menu. If you want to debug all tests, you can select test, debug, all tests in the main menu, or you can click on the run all link in the test explorer. Code coverage. Code coverage is a way to find out what parts of the code is actually being tested. The following code will not have full code coverage because the code in the if block will never be reached. You will minimize the likelihood of bugs with better code coverage. You can analyze code coverage by selecting test, analyze code coverage, selected tests or all tests in the main menu. Or you could select the desired tests in the test explorer, right click on the selected tests and choose Analyze code coverage for selected tests. If you want to analyze code coverage for all tests, you click Run Analyze code coverage for all tests in the Test Explorer. Unreachable code will be indicated with a pink background color and statistics will be displayed in the Code Coverage Result window. If the window is hidden, you can show it by selecting Test Windows code coverage result in the main menu. Note, you can use code coverage with any managed or unmanaged testing frameworks.